I think we can all feel that with the numerous videos and talks about ways to build consistency in our lives by setting clear goals, creating a routine, and prioritizing the task at hand is sadly not enough. I think the raw and honest truth is that if you've heard the same things numerous times and it still hasn't sprung you into action consistently, there just may be a blockage within the mind that is keeping you from walking and talking in the version of yourself that is consistent. When you have all of the steps laid out in front of you, all of the confirmation to move forward and you still aren't stepping, that just lets me know that all you need now is the willpower to do so. And that's why I'm here. Hopefully in this episode, I will spark a flame in you again, just to get you over the hump of falling off of your consistency so that you can look back a year from now after pursuing your dreams and say, damn, I was standing in my way the whole time. Because yes, yes you were. Welcome to the Ron Half Podcast, where we get real and then some. I am your host, Jasmine Siri. And every week, I speak on different topics that align with reprogramming the subconscious mind. I share my experiences and discuss how I navigate life consciously so we can reach higher heights and deeper dimensions of the mind so we can accomplish our goals from a healed and open place together. So, let's get started. Face the fear that comes with being consistent. When our dreams require us to show up in new ways, it scares us. Not because our dreams are scary, but mostly for me because I wanted to do everything right. The uncertainty of this future that I wanted, that I could potentially be present in, but not be good at, was a bruise to my ego. And in order to keep myself safe, I would just freeze. To be honest, a lot of us sabotage things like a child. We have these things that we want and that are in our hands and in our power. And because it's new... And because we haven't really invested the time enough to understand its function or its systems or ways that it can be useful for us or ways that we can master it, the first sign of a mistake or a misunderstanding, we throw it to the ground in frustration and we drop things and we never pick them up again. When you have a mission to do something, some of the missions in pursuit to the things that you want will not be 100% successful, but it doesn't mean you are not worthy of having those things, which is why strategy is very important. What changed the way I showed up from maybe posting once every couple of months, expecting the same outcome that posting once a week brought me, I had to change my emotional entitlement to the work that I was too afraid to face. Yes, it takes more energy to do what I'm doing now than what I did before, but that is the sacrifice that I decided I wanted when I claimed that this thing was something that I also wanted to. I had to realize and I had to come in agreement with myself that I was worthy of that sacrifice, enough to have an expectation of something great within myself to act on that greatness 99.8% of the time even though my emotions were not 99.8% all in. I think when you actually deem yourself worthy enough to have an expectation of something great within yourself, that's when consistency becomes less of an issue. And I also think about it like this. Our schools required a certain level of greatness from us. Our caregivers were held to a standard in order to keep us in that household. The jobs that we have require a level of skill and competence from us. You also deserve a piece of that too. Because you want to change your outcome. Repeat after me. I preserve 100% of my excellence for me and my endeavors. I am worthy of my own 100% and tap your chest and let it be done. Let's double back to the ego. Sometimes we have an ego so large it stands in the way of God doing a new thing in us because the ego wants control. The ego likes staying at the job because it's not 
challenged by what's happening at the job. The ego likes knowing the outcome. So when you do nothing, it sleeps a little easier knowing that at least they know the outcome of what happens when nothing happens. And they have also no one else to blame but themselves. In this current stage of my life where I'm consistently posting things from the heart, I had to put my ego in the back room to fold clothes. It's doing something and it's keeping itself busy and it's working, but it no longer makes the decisions for me and my higher self. The higher self is what the ego wishes it was. There's just too much dip on my ego's chip to actually require good qualities to lead me into my next destination. And you're aware that this is happening when you finally realize that even the results that you're getting, say you are consistent a numerous amount of times, the things that you thought were gratification for your journey are no longer there. When you see positive results from the work that you're doing, when the ego is present, you will rest and you will assume like, okay, I did it. I got what I wanted, but there's something deeper when you're truly driven in purpose that the one good thing that happens is not something that makes you feel comfortable or confident enough to rest. Create a normalcy around what you want to do and who you want to become. I obsessed over being a creator and I still want to make this a full-time gig. So you want to know what I do? I do nothing but watch and listen to creators that do it full-time. And it's a normal thing for me to see that. I live in Austin where a lot of people are in the industry of being creative and capitalizing off of their creativity. So I stopped viewing the things that I wanted as something above me, but something around me. And it changed the way that I approached what I wanted. If you spend all day listening to people who have mastered things, you want to start. The starting doesn't seem so hard. I also had to realize how special this moment in my life was where I'm almost 30, no children, no real responsibilities but myself. And because I had already lived 20 plus years a certain way, I'm just genuinely curious of what a new life where I'm genuinely paid for being authentic will bring me. And the curiosity is also what keeps me going. It keeps me consistent. Are you truly dissatisfied with where you are? Are you truly bored? Because when you're bored and you have the energy to do something different, nothing stands in your way of that. But to move forward, I'm still in the journey of trying to make things happen for me. But when it does work out, I will definitely let you know. And notice that I said when and not if because I don't have room in my mind for doubt because I'm consistent. Sometimes thoughts of doubt come within the mind, but they don't stay there long because they don't feel welcome up there. There's just not enough room for them to exist if I'm constantly creating and I'm constantly doing things. There's things that I tweak. There's things and ways that I try to make things better, but I never stop myself from the doing. Visualize yourself at the end of each task being one step closer to achieving your goals. And notice how different the conversations you're having with yourself become. I had to realize that the enemy was in my procrastination. If I truly feel like what I'm doing is something that is going to help people, imagine what my life would be like or imagine what so many other people would feel if I allowed the enemy within my mind to win over my actions enough where I never even start. I think because I decided I wanted to do something with a purpose and it was aligned with my soul's purpose, I had this military-like mindset of making sure that what I was doing was ultimately because I wanted to be in service for others. And if they never receive that service, I just feel like it's purposeless. 
I've also talked openly about the other endeavors that I've wanted to pursue. Um, Sometimes when you stop yourself from being consistent, what you're doing is also stopping your future from happening or stopping your dreams and other things that you want to do. All of the things that exist inside of your being, although some of those things lay dormant because of your accessibility to do those things, whether financially, time, energy, the more that you prolong your consistent steps at just creating a foundation for yourself, whatever that is, the more you prolong your suffering of not allowing those parts of you to live out. I think I had to wake up to, you know, the reality that my dream life, what I want for myself is not going to be given to me. I have to work for everything in my life. And this is just one of those things that I have to work for. And it would be a disservice to my spirit. It would be a disservice to myself to know all of the talent that I have and I carry, know all of the passion that exists inside of me that I was given and not fight for it enough to try to climb in any way that I can, not out of desperation, but truly because I feel like I am responsible for my gifts. And if I don't advocate for who I am, and if I don't speak life into my gifts enough to strategize, I'm just allowing other people to give me a life that society claims humans are supposed to have it's not fulfilling it's I got a glimpse of the life that other people created for me because I wasn't existing in my gifts and I did not like it so why would I continue you know and maybe because I just reached this level of consciousness where I stopped pretending like being an adult meant completely getting rid of my creativity like there are some people that are mathematicians there are some people that are scientists you know all of the things right and it's in them to be that and they are people in society that are existing in their gifts but when it comes to the arts when it comes to people that are speakers and you know people that are writers and authors very seldom do those people get the same type of power and recognition for actually having creative gifts as opposed to like linear scientifical or mathematical you know callings and I kind of want to change the stigma of that because I can't be anyone else and I also don't let people make me feel bad for not being that way in a way when someone is looking down upon you for being creative and having real creative gifts like scary gifts in a way they're kind of looking down at God for blessing you with all of these things and I, it just makes me, it gives me a bad taste in my mouth, but that's what society was. Like if you weren't doing something to contribute to society as a consumer or by numbers or science or like all of those things, engineering, if you're not contributing in those ways, they look at you like you're completely lost. Not everyone is brave enough to have passion but we do these things where we go to school every day. We, you know, have jobs that we go to all the time. And because of our responsibilities as adults or whoever we are, right, we find the energy to show up and try to excel or try to achieve or try to be an asset. And we lose all of that energy for ourselves. And consistency is a rebellion to the forces that be that no matter what societal system they've created to make us a contributor to this messed up world, you still have gifts, you still have passion, art, loves, and it would be a complete disservice to yourself if you do not act on them vigilantly and with 
strategy. There's a stretching that happens within you that no longer scares you and freezes you. It kind of, it just awakens something in you. You know what's so interesting? I'm not going to lie. I took one single kundalini yoga class and something activated in me that changed my entire life and I it's hard for me to describe how activating it was but the breath you know breath of fire I truly felt it was a gift to have this life to feel close to this divine thing that we all are and I just took a good look at myself and like who am I not to express the God in me to be consistent enough to share who I am with the world you know to know that we're out here to know that you know if you are anything like me you're not alone and it is now our time to just fully walk in our gifts because something very special is happening in the air. I don't know what it is, but there's like this wind of change happening. I don't know. A few days ago, I had this like trembling anxiety. You know when something good is about to happen and you're just like walking about your day like, Ooh, like that's what I feel is happening. There's so much energy happening in the world and now is the time for you to get on like get on it like if you have to be on necks if you have to get on people's necks and not let up do that like I remember years ago when I first started like being consistent on social media I stopped doing it on Instagram because I did feel like I was attracting a lot of people that eh, were surface level. I'm not even going to lie. So I just started investing in YouTube. But now that I'm on Instagram kind of again, still delivering that same type of consistency, just with a, uh, just a little up a notch because I've finally laid a foundation of consistency. I know that people feel the difference of what I'm trying to do. People understand kind of my mission. And not only that, they look at the world, they look at their day to day, and they feel that who I am and what I try to do and what I try to share, it's needed. And it's just when you reach that point of consistency and you're in a deep end, now you realize you can't stop, that's what I want for you. Because it's going to be bigger than the ways that you feel. It's going to be bigger than tiredness when you truly feel like you're doing something that is of service and that needs to be done, needs to be said. No matter how hard it is for people to digest, there are people in this world that are in it but not of it and what they are of is worthy of being shared because it could potentially be the very thing that makes a person change this world and if it is my responsibility to speak life into the people that are truly going to shift the world I want to do my part so if I can inspire you in any way I hope that in this video it is everything that you need to hear to get off of your ass and just do everything that you're afraid to not because it's actually scary but because there's a different version required of you right now that is not only going to help maybe your life situation But it might help the world and heal it and do something amazing. And I was talking to a friend today about just how desensitized we are with like seeing so many people talking, hearing their voices, seeing their faces and like all of these things. We're so busy watching other people's magic that we forget that we have something magic inside of us as well. 
and there's probably someone who is going to shift the way that we see the world, but they're sitting dormant and they know it, but it scares them. It scares them so much because they don't know the outcome. No one really wants to be a martyr, even though they have, you know, the calling to, because we know how it always ends for them or us, but it's bigger than that. It's, it's so much bigger. So I want you to see yourself, your life, your story, who you are as something worthy of giving a shot at just being consistent, just to see where it goes. And um, when it goes as good as it's going to go, come back to me and tell me how right I am because I'm a Virgo and I like to hear that I'm right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you're listening to this on Spotify, please leave a review of the episode. It does so much for me. Um, I would appreciate it if you did. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at jasmine.siri. And I hope to see you all in my next one.